guys, welcome to part seven of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And yes, this is the final step, referred to as permuting the last layer, or PLL, as it's usually called. So let's get right to it. So at this point, you will have the first two layers and the white side down complete, and also have the yellow upside complete. So all you have is this actual layer left to solve. So in PLL, there are really two steps. First, you get all of the corners solved like this. And then second, you do the edges, which will in the end solve the cube. And the edges are in between two corners. So let's start with getting all of the corners solved. So the first thing that you are looking for on the top or yellow layer are two corners of the same color on the same side, which would look something like this. As you can see, it is red and red. And now remember, you do not have to worry about the edge color that is in between the two uh, corners. And these are called headlights. So you do not have to worry about the edge color that is in between the two, the two headlights. Now that we know what headlights are, you will run into a few different scenarios when you are solving the cube at this stage. So I'm going to show you what those scenarios are and what to do when you get to them. Scenario one, no headlights. Now if you have no headlights, meaning that no corners are solved next to each other, they don't have any pairs, all you have to do is make sure that yellow is held on top and it doesn't matter what color is in front. Just make sure that if you were to do a U movement, it would turn the yellow side and do the algorithm F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. And then, as you can see, all of the corners, you will have four pairs of headlights. Scenario two, only one pair of headlights. If you only have one pair, you want to hold them in front of you. And remember, let's say I have two, I have blue headlights. You don't have to have them on the blue face or where the blue center is, but you can hold them anywhere as long as they are in front of you. And then you want to do the algorithm. R prime, U, L prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R, L. And then you will have all of the headlights. And then scenario three, all of the sides will have the headlights and you already have this step completed. And now we can move on to the final step. So now we move on to step two, which will finish off the edges and complete the cube. In this step two, there are four different scenarios that you will run into, and I'm going to show you what to do with each one. Scenario one, you have a line on one side. And what that means is, as you can see, we have a headlights, blue headlights, and the blue edge, and it looks like a line. It looks like this. So what you want to do is match that up so that way you have one whole face complete like this and put it in the back. So if you were to do a B or B prime, you'd be turning the side, the face that has the line. Now you will have a colored edge facing you. And now what you want to do is see if that edge needs to go to the right or to the left to be solved. And what that means is, see, mine is orange, and orange is on the left. So it needs to go to the left to be solved. And if it needs to go to the left, remember, make sure you have the line in the back and do the algorithm L prime, U, L prime, U prime, L prime, U prime, L prime, U, L, U, L2 and then your cube will be solved. If the edge needs to go to the right, for example, I have red, 
And remember, I always have the line in the back and I have the red. And red needs to go to the right to be solved. Then you do the algorithm, R, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. And then your cube will also be solved. Now, scenario two, all four edges need to be swapped on the opposite sides. And let me show you what I mean. You can see if I'm holding the green, the blue, this piece needs to go to the opposite side on the back. And this red piece needs to go to the opposite side on the left. Now to execute this, it doesn't matter what color's in front of you as long as yellow is on top. So if you do a U movement, uh, the yellow would be on top. And you're going to do the algorithm, R2, U2, R, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, R, U2, R2, and then it will be solved. Now scenario three, which is actually the final scenario, all four edges need to be swapped, but at angles to each other. And let me show you what I mean. So it is very important that you hold the cube correctly. And how that is, is you want to hold the cube so that way two, the two colors that need to switch are in front of you and to the right of you. For example, red and blue need to switch. So I have one of the red or blue in front of me and one of the red or blue on the right of me. Remember, this is incorrect because yeah, one is in the front, but one is in the left. Do not do that. No, no, no. So how you execute this is you want to make sure that you're holding uh, one that needs to be the two that need to switch in the front and the right and do the algorithm. U2, R, U, R prime, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2, U, R. And then your cube will be solved. This is a tad tricky, so let me redo it. And now notice, now I have red and green need to switch. So I hold one in the front and one on the right and do the algorithm. And then it will be solved. And that completes the beginner's method of solving a three by three Rubik's cube. Now, there are many advanced ways to solve the cubes faster and faster, like the ones I know, but this method is a perfectly good way to start. And now I really hope that you've been able to get all the way through and solve your cube. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.